Yo, what's up guys, boy Paddy Kills here, bring you guys another NHL 21 video. In today's video, we got the Hockey Ultimate Team Deep Dive. So before we go to this video, man, drop a like, 25 likes, NHL 21 comes out tomorrow via EA Play. So I will make a separate video uh, later tonight explaining how to get NHL 21 early. I know some people may have trouble getting it or how to figure it out. I'll make an entire video probably like four hours after I make this one or after this one goes up. So stay tuned for that but we, yeah, yesterday we took a deep dive on franchise mode today we got hut and uh, let's go around this video so we got hut rush angel 21 introduces hut rush a new mode that allows both hut and non-hut players to jump into a quick online or single player game of threes three on three or five on five gameplay in hut rush you earn points to unlock hut rewards not just by winning but winning with style um some events will allow you to draft a team while others will require you to build a team from your hut collection expect to see a, a variety of different hut configure event configurations throughout the year Different rules, gameplay styles, lineup sizes, objectives, draft pools, or team requirements, and more. Some weeks you may ask to be drafted threes lineup with mascots and icons only, while others you may be asked to bring your best three with line from HUT. So here is a nice little, uh, man, EA, come on, man. <laughs> Why is this quality so bad, EA? Why? Oh my, this is such a bad look for you. This is so lazy, bro. You, you're telling me that they couldn't get a better picture, so they stayed with this. That's so stupid. But nonetheless, it's an NHL threes or hot rush. Pardon me, menu screen. So obviously, you got three v three threes, five on five rewards. Um, draft a single line, then play arcade draft teams. We obviously we all know what hot rush is by now. And here is drafting your team, so you can um draft you guys can see we got Klinberg, pk suban all back man larson roman yossi so it's kind of like draft champions in hot rush i like that you can draft your little threes lineup you draft a winger a center a defenseman and a goalie um which is pretty cool i think this will be a nice game one just to play on the side if you get bored i've been asking for this for a while like three on three hut just some quick games because no, no one has time to play full games especially if you have school work and all that stuff skill points in hot rush you'll earn skill points for a variety of actions within the mode as you perform actions in Hut Rush gameplay, such as shots, passes, hits, or Ds, you'll earn skill points which display in the Hut Rush skill point ticker uh, in the top right corner. So here's the top right corner. Every time you score a goal, you're gonna get points. So you see, he just scored a goal, he got 1,500 points. He got 20 points for a redirect shot, five plus points for a pass, plus 125 for a windmill. League. So the more moves you do before you score a goal, um, let's say you do a nice little between the leg, then you do a little backhand, you know, just some deeks like that. And if you finish it off with a nice goal, you get extra points so you can uh, win the game, but also you can win with style, which I think is obviously pretty cool. When you score a goal in Hot Rush, the three actions you perform. So again, it's going to be the last three actions before you score. You score a goal, last three actions, that's the points you'll get. Um, will generate a combo, increasing your skill points value based on the complexity and difficulty of the action. So obviously, if it's a little bit harder to do and you score, you're going to get more points. If it's just some simple, you know, little backhand, forehand goal, probably not as many points. Actions will stay in your history for five seconds. Uh, you'll need to string together combos quickly and skillfully in order to maximize your points. It's another little in-game screenshot. Again, EA, I still wish you could have, okay, again, this is your game. You'd think that they have a better quality picture for us, but I guess not. Um, these jerseys look pretty damn good. It's natural Pirates jersey. It's weird seeing Pirates in that Pirates jersey, but again, I'm getting carried away here. Again, points, one mil D times two, pass times one, redirect shot, 4,000 points. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, in addition to earning skill points for ashes and game plan scoring goals, you'll also be earning a bonus points value at the completion of each hot rush game depending on the outcome. This value is added into your skill points earned during the game, then multiplied by difficulty multiplier. The difficulty multiplier is based on the difficulty selected for games versus the CPU. So you win the game, you get extra points, you lose, you probably don't get many points, and obviously the difficulty multiplier comes if you're versus CP, uh, the CPU. You know, difficulty multiplier for online games is higher than the hardest CPU difficulty. So you play online games, you get the highest difficulty multiplier which is higher than superstar difficulty you know i think that's pretty damn cool lastly each event will have up to five event objectives these objectives will uh, will reward bonus skill points towards the current reward season so here's another screenshot loading to the next game um you got event objectives you got uh top shelf goals two out of ten um again same thing you know obviously everyone knows what objectives are you get them you get more points it's all cool and then obviously it's kind of like it kind of reminds me of squad battles you get points you get rewards so here is a little screenshot of all the rewards you can get um tier one ten thousand points get a customizable choice pack then you get coins one thousand coins more points you get the more good players you end up getting and uh i think that's damn pretty damn cool hopefully the rewards are good i like these rewards um 
Hot Rush consists of time uh, limited events in one of three Hot Rush game types, three, three on three, five on five. You can expect to see one to two events available to play anytime you enter Hot Rush. A reward season in Hot Rush consists of multiple events with the skill point from each event all working towards the same progression. I've been asking for this on my wish list for a while. I'm happy they've added this. Uh, as you're in skill points, you'll progress through the reward season and unlock reward at each tier. Um, again, tier points, again, nice little reward as well. Hut synergies. Um, in NHL 21 synergies will be displayed using icons. Synergy icons will either be silver for player synergies or gold for team synergies. Uh, so obviously we got uh, silver is again going to be player synergies, gold for team synergies. So we got a bunch of those synergies here. I'm going to zoom this in for you guys again. EA don't know why the graphics are back at Speedster, Wingman, Holzer, uh, again Speedster is probably going to be, you know, fastest player, Wingman, you got Holzer, you got Light the Lamp, you got Magician, which is probably going to be for Beacon, Gladiator, Workhorse, Passing Playmaker, Shutdown, and then Thief, then obviously for the team surges we got Spark, Balance, uh, I can't even see that man, because again this quality is so bad, Distributor, Swarm, and Heart and Soul. Bunch of good team synergies and player synergies. These are all the synergies right now in the game that we know. So here's the synergy stats. I'm happy they added this actually. Um, obviously you got Gladiator, you get three points for body checking and off defensive awareness. Holtz, you get three points for agility. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of these. I'm just gonna, if you wanna pause the video, you can pause the video and go through your synergy stats yourself. Um, it's looking like a really good dub. As you can see, three synergy points for each. Team synergy is balanced, gives you defensive awareness, deacon, uh, endurance, I think. Uh, again, this graphic is so bad, but puck control. Um, and then last but not least, get rich shot power. Again, just, these are all the synergy points. Points required, you need 10 for balance, 10 for bars, 10, 10 for all of them. Swarm, you only need 8. And then obviously for all of them except for Holzer, you need six. The rest of them is just four. Again, you can pause the video if you want to look at synergies in deep. I just don't have the time to. Um, player bio. A new update to help with the team building around synergies is the preview synergy function in the player bio screen. This will allow users to preview potential synergy boosted players before they've completed the synergy. Once the synergy is complete, the user will be able to see the boosted attributes. Thank God they finally added that. Um, synergy gloss, again, it's always been in the game. They've updated it to allow users to search for selective synergies. That's pretty cool. Auction house, the auction house has been updated to display how many synergy points a user will require to complete their synergies. Love this, man. Uh, I think this is a really cool thing they've added, you know, obviously. Um, just having just being able to be in the uh, hot market the auction house um, And just seeing which players can complete your synergy for your team I think that's definitely a sick ass feature they've added and obviously the big thing no more contracts and energies finally man I hated contracts and energies um, in Injuries they were so annoying and I'm finally happy they started to um, Get rid of that um, and obviously we got master icons hut 21 includes three versions of each master icon players bronze silver gold levels um, so obviously bronze icons 84 to 89 silver 84 94 and gold 94 to 99 that's crazy um here are all of the hut 21 master icons in the game we got wayne gretzky from edmonton he's only an 89 what i must be tweaking we got wayne gretzky we got mary lemieux john bivia we got gordy howe the great gordy howe um there's a bunch of guys here all i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna say their individual names you can pause the screen you guys want but these are all of the uh let me zoom out for you guys you guys can see all of them so Wayne Gretzky Lemieux um got a bunch of them Sackick Forsberg all of them 89 89 88 88 87 range keep on going down so my guessing is that they'll probably release the gold ones a little bit later but you guys can see all of them I'm not gonna go individually because I'll be here forever but these are all of the uh surgeon okay Wayne Gretzky and Steve Eiserman we see their sick cards look at that Wayne Gretzky 89 overall um Damn, that looks amazing, man. That that looks incredible. Um, those are the icons. Price range is starting in NHL 21. We'll be introducing a new feature to the Hockey Ultimate Team Market House called Price Ranges. When price ranges are active, every trade will help. Damn. Um, we've had a quick. Sh it's pretty good. Um, so basically, they bought back. Technically, they did big last. This kind of like last price, honestly. But I'm happy they added that. Um, what are the benefits of it? Help player better understand the fair market. Again, if this helps a lot of the new players, obviously, people that there's a lot of people that are nerds. I don't really like to call them nerds, but they just sit on the hot market. They, just, they make up their little spreadsheets, and you know, it's, it's too much work for me, man. Especially if you have work and stuff. So again, I, I like how they've added price ranges. Kind of reminds me of FIFA. Um, again, so that's that. We got team building sets. We're bringing back team building sets. Finally, man. Oh my God. Uh, Thank you for bringing back team building sets. Um, 
I love that. Other notes, retrain option, hustle, challenges, thank you. Uh, remove game mode. So they have removed, um, with Angel Jordan along with Hut Rivals, we've removed online seasons and draft champions. So draft champions has been removed and online seasons. Oh, these decisions were made to stream on the online experience. Um, I understand Hut seasons is kind of like you only play in the beginning of the game, then people stop playing. Um, I understand, but damn bro i, I kind of wish they didn't remove uh, online seasons um live service they've got um intro thank everyone goals for nhl 21 player progressions all of that stuff like that so here is damn this this is this is amazing this is a whole deep dive man i'm i'm, I'm excited about this so goals for 21 they basically said our goal is to uh focus on addressing you know re-examining progression systems ratings and stuff like that player progression skaters so here it is speed at 87 overall 80 mcdavid 92 upgrade oh my god they, okay so if mcdavid his car gets upgraded his speed gets a one plus update every single time um that's actually sick so his max 12 if, he, if mcdavid's car gets a 12 plus increase his speed becomes a 98 chara becomes an 86 so that's a big difference in speed and players so yeah so chara should not be skating like mcdavid mcdavid like you should notice the difference on the ice. that's a big problem with hot is if you're playing with Connor McDavid, he should be the fastest player on the ice compared to like the Zeno Charles on big defensemen. So I, I like how they've added that. Um, if you add the combination of lower start points, lower this helps stabilize speed ratings for the much greater period of time. I get that, but also the reason why they do is so they can release more cards. Goalies, um, speed cap 99, 99. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue about goalies. I'm gonna skip that part. Lit versus great, much like NHL 21, I'm delivering a combination of new events. We try to deliver on favorite themes from years past. It's important not to keep feel fresh. So they've obviously added Lit vs. Grit. We've got Artemi Panarin 89. Damn, these card designs look nasty. I love these card designs. Panarin, Hiskanen, and then William Maylander. Um, we've got a Bergeron, uh, Ryan Suter, Blake Wheeler. Really, really cool. Damn, that Panarin card looks good. Master items. Speaking of master items, we've also wanted to try and bring in something new to the table this year for most events. We got a master item, Artemi Panarin. Team of the Week and Squad Battles. Um, Obviously, that's still going to be in the game. I'm not going to go over that. European and junior players, icons. There's over 400 icons in the game, not including the master icon. That's crazy. But this is where the end of the video comes. Man, this damn, this Panarin card. Holy fuck. I'm saving that shit. This Panarin card looks so good. But that is it, man. This is the uh, NHL 21 Hut Deep Dive. Tell me guys what you guys think. I'm going to have another video coming out. Drop a like, subscribe. Game's looking pretty promising.